Yo, Pika V2 was just released and some of y'all are still asking questions on how to get it. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a step-to-step -step guide on how to do it and I'll do a little showcase at the end. Yeah, with all that being said, enjoy the video. So obviously to start things off, you do have to have Pika because I don't think you can talk to the Poneglyphs if you don't have it eaten. So I'm just going to quickly eat this. Next, after you eat Pika, you, there's no certain order for what you want to do for this, so you can either follow the exact order I do it or do it completely different, but you have to have all five done. Obviously, I couldn't talk to that one because I didn't have the mysterious book, so here we are going to be farming Krakens for it. Um, I'm going to speed up along this process because it is quite boring. As you can see here, I did get the mysterious book, and on top of this, I did pull a Yuki, which I guess is also somewhat good. So now let's head back to Colosseum and claim the quest. So for the first quest, you have to deal 80,000 damage to any boss NPC while using Pika. Obviously, I decided to go with Pika because, well, he just has the most HP, and it's kind of easier to fight him. I didn't get enough damage on the first one because, well, my Discord server was kind of weird and just kept attacking him, but it's fine. We decided to do another run. And on this second run, I actually did manage to get enough damage with a lot of HP remaining, so my Discord server can still get credit, I guess. The next one I decided to do was the speed test, which was where you use Pika Flight from Rose Kingdom all the way to Coliseum. And that one was actually pretty easy, so I guess good for me. The next one on my list requires a sacrifice. You have to give up a Pika in order to complete this one, which kind of hurt honestly, but you know, it wasn't my Pika. I don't mind this whatsoever, by the way. I love y'all. The next one that I decided to do required you to go to Spirit Island, where you normally go to get Hockey V2. There's a Poneglyph there, you talk to it, and you get the quest to go kill Mihawk, the strongest swordsman. I forgot to record me getting that, but here I am going to the island now to kill Mihawk just to complete this quest. After you kill Mihawk and complete the quest, you want to head back to First C because then you want to go to Fort D1. Also, before you go to Second C, make sure to stop by the Onogriff near Spirit Essence because you do want to claim the quest to kill Kizaru because if you kill him, you don't get credit and you probably won't get Pika V2. Now that we made it to Second C, we do have to wait around 30 minutes for him to spawn, but after 30 minutes is up, he should spawn around in the middle and then you just pretty much fight him. After defeating Kizaru or whatever quest you're on, you should immediately unlock Pika V2 and it should give it to you if you did all five quests. Again, there's no order for this, so you can do either or, but here I am showcasing it. Unironically, I think it really is good. The first ability we have is Starlight Rapier Lit Strike. <laughs> yeah. Next, we got Radiant Kick. And then we got Radiant Ray. 20 damage yo with an explosion here's the triple kick one golly and then we got radiant flight which is like pretty much faster than pika flight and it does damage if you hit him next is i think this was like normal pika's ultimate but like shorter i think
Oh yeah, here are the M1s. Pretty cool, pretty cool. For the last ability we have, Starlight Reaper and Excalibur. Oh my gosh, and I'm pretty sure that little symbol on them, they take extra damage. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I am going to do a PvP video on this, possibly, or I might try and get this in Battle Royale. But yeah, with all that being said, I'll see y'all next time.